Greetings everyone, and welcome back to Hydraneer. This game recently celebrated its third anniversary on Steam, and I decided to go back in and take a look around. The last time we played this game, we were playing about a year ago, actually it's almost exactly a year ago since the last video I put out was May 25th of last year. Now the plan that I had at the time was I was going to make a money maker here, passive income. That way it would just sit there, make me money, and also make me resources that I could use to build in other places and do other things. I was going to make a big mine, you know, down at South Hope. That's the big one, by the way. And I already had the money to buy that. And I also wanted to get into the farming aspect, and they've added prospecting in the meantime. Lots of quests, too, and an entirely different currency to buy things. As a matter of fact, there's a flattener device, and I think there's actually a really good digger, too. So this guy here was going to be the basis of all that. It was going to be making me money. And I couldn't help but notice that it's essentially broken at the moment. Now, it does seem to be working, and in terms of the ores, everything is going fine. The problem seems to be this. Yeah, the, um, the gem smasher. See, the way this used to work would be that you would put all the gems in there just like that, and then you turn it on, and it would take all those gems and make them into big ones. You know, it would take all the rubies, make them into a big ruby, take all the sapphires, make it into a big sapphire, and the same thing with the emerald, and if there was any onyx in there too. Yeah, unfortunately, it seems to only do one type of gem now. So if I pull that button, it's going to decide who it wants to make something big of and throw everything else up in the air. And I do actually mean that because, yeah, um, fortunately, we have this thing here, which is very good at gathering things up. So you can just kind of like, hold it a second, see, like that. So you can clean up fairly easily. It is going to be a bit of an issue, though, but I'm thinking... Why don't we just fix this? It's going to cost money, and it's also going to be a little bit on the irritating side. See, here's the thing. I'm thinking we need to get sorting done. And just like these guys over here. See, basically, when things pass through, it just hits, like, goes this way. This is Cloudium here. So if Cloudium comes by, it goes in there. We have the same thing with iron up here in the front. Then we have gold, and we have the power shards. So that's the reason that everything just goes in there. As a matter of fact, we probably have a lot in gold. Uh, I'm not going to actually sell the iron because we need that to manufacture drilling things. As a matter of fact, things might actually be in need of repairs over here. Let me just take a look around. Where is my... So you would have to come by and fix things every once in a while. Okay, so you can see on the, uh, the handle of the magnifying glass... It's 19%, so that needs fixing right there. Okay, that's 68%, that's 30. All right, so this guy over here is 37, that's 79, and that's 79, all right? That one isn't too much of an emergency. This is an emergency, and that is an emergency. Okay, 67 is not a problem. So fortunately, I do have these. So repair and repair. And unfortunately, I used them all up. Now, I've been, I noticed I was keeping my money over here basically for repairs. And I have a decent amount of it. This guy does actually make money when you let it. See, I have uh, 13,000 there. Of course, I'm going to go under 13 now. So we're going to take that off there, put that there. That has five repairs in it. And I'm just going to do that. And then we're going to take this back with us. So I'm just going to keep it over there in case I need to make repairs. Otherwise, it'll just basically keep running. But this is a problem. So I'm thinking, why don't we fix it? How are we going to fix this? As I mentioned, I think sorting is the way to go. But there is a complication to this. It has to do with the way this thing is designed. Now, originally, there was a different um, gem smasher. That's the reason we had to put these angles in. Because there was a high thing there. But we really could basically have just plugged this directly in there now and uh, that wouldn't be a problem the problem i'm having at the moment though is that if i try to put the sorters in right then that means the water is going to be coming this way which means you would have to have this facing this way so you can plug water in i'm thinking t's in other words uh i take the t 
they continue it along and then the tea comes out in this direction here so that it can feed water into this. The problem is the switches here, which means I'm going to need conveyors between the sorters in order to have space for the switches, which is really an inconvenient design. You know, if the water's going in here, the switch really should be over here. So the thing is, that's what I'm thinking we're going to have to do. So I'm going to need three more of these because there's four kinds of gems. I'm going to need at least two of the conveyors, the straight conveyors. I might just get a third just for the heck of it. You never know. And then, of course, I think that's about it. I think I have the pipings here, so that really should be about it. Um, there's, oh, I need to get the switches. The switches are actually separate, too. So what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, grab my money. I'm going to have to bring the money back with me, too. I know that I have money at the shop. The thing is that I don't think it's enough money. All right, so, and there you go. There you go. And I did fill this thing up with water. You have to use a bucket to fill it up so it's nice and full over here. As well as my little device here. Yeah, this one, I think you can carry one thing here. And uh, I have filled that with uh, water as well. It was running a little light when I came back. Now, in terms of what I'm going to do with this pile, what I might do is I might put it into a bucket and use the hand sorter. Uh, this was what we did originally. You know, basically, if you put like an emerald shard there and you pour it all in, the emeralds will come out here and everything else will come out that way. So um, we can kind of do that. But I think it's just, let's get this moving first. I just want to look around for a second here. Yeah, the thing is, when I pull this, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's gold. What is that doing there? Okay, what is... I have no idea why there would be gold. Oh, get out of the molten gold. Get out of the molten gold. Not a good thing. All right, hold it a minute. I have no idea how that could have happened. It's a little bit on the concerning side, though. Yeah, that's a little on the concerning side. I don't know how that happened. Okay, hopefully there's no more. I was actually looking to see if there were any um, onyx in there. Oh, well. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this out to the shop. Howdy. I reckon Bridgeball were minging before Fobrick got here. Yep. Apparently there's like a mission now. There's a big in-game mission. I have no idea what it is. Uh, I want to fix my little money maker here. All right, let's see here now. So let's be off. Yeah, like I said, I do believe I have money at the shop, but I don't I know if it's enough. All right, so let's get over here. And I think the splitter that I needed was the right one, because I think there's a right and a left. I'm pretty sure that... Oh, and not this way. All right, now the... Um, the place I want to buy is the last one on the end, way down there. Of course, I think I would have to get something before I'd actually do that, because they have a new vehicle over here, which would be kind of necessary for South Hope. Hold it a minute here. Stop and get out. Uh, where is it here? Yeah, this one right here, the flattener. It's only 2460, but I mean... The um, South Hope is very hilly, so it would be it would behoove us to basically flatten it first. That way, we can use it for various things, including farming. Farming is a big thing now. Uh, of course, it uses water because yeah, everything uses water, and farming is generally uh, known for using water. All right, so stop right there. All right, so let's see. Uh, I'm thinking the easiest thing would be the conveyor belt first. All right, so I'm going to get I'm going to get three flat conveyors just to be safe. I mean, it's something I'm going to need in the future anyway. So we have conveyor nation. All right, here. Can you put that in there for a moment? There we go. Actually, the splitters are here too, aren't they? All right, it's the right one that I need because I want it facing this way. So it comes here and then goes this way. All right, so I need three of these. I need one for rubies, one for emerald, one for sapphire. 
And, uh, hold on a second. And then the last one will just be the default. You know, the onyx, that'll be the default. Okay, we need right. Okay, I really wish that this guy would be silent. I'm, I'm buying. You're getting a lot of my money. So just be silent. All right, let's see here. Is it wrong that I liked the world when I was the only one in it? Okay, so there we go. Now I need straights. Okay, there's no directions or anything on those, right? All right. Put a straight in there. And put another straight. Okay, right there. Come on, right there. Come on, put it down, put it down, put it down. Right there. There we go. Okay, 2036. All right, so obviously we're going to make a lot of money from this, so it's not a big deal. All right, let me just uh, throw these guys inside here. I wish on the pad they would fit inside each other, you know what I mean? It would make it so much easier to buy these things. All right, and there. See, notice those will go inside each other. Because otherwise, you have to make a lot of trips. Hold on a minute. There we go. And then we'll take that. Okay, so that should be the, um, the conveyors done. Now... Let me see. I think I have money over here. Let me see if there's enough. I don't want to merge them if at all possible. Okay, I have 4,700 here, so this should do the job. Now, what I need is that. The Logic Gem Compressor. So, I have one of them. I need three more, and I need these switches, too. So, I do believe I have the money for this, so let's just buy them. The most important thing is to get the sorting done. Once the sorting is done, then everything else will just be fine. And then we'll get this. Put this here. And now I need three of these logic switches. Boom. Boom. Yeah, we're going to have enough. Boom. I think that's all I needed. I already have the piping, so it shouldn't be a problem. And if I did need any, I can buy pipes nearby. I never did any fishing, too. So we got the fishing stuff over there. All right, so... Boom. All right, how much is left there? 1,600. All right, so let's just grab these and throw them into the back, too. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to throw them all in the back because it does look like it's nighttime now. I'm going to load them up. I'm going to take them back to the uh, the mining site. I'm going to unload them. And then, in the morning, we're going to start throwing this all together. And morning has come to Amber Cradle. All right. As you can see, I have offloaded everything. And I think we're ready to go. We are going to have to do the terrible thing of pulling the switch over here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut this stuff down, though. That way I can get the, um, where are the switches here anyway? There they are. All right, you turn off, you turn off. I don't really need to turn this one off. I just want to make sure the whole thing is cleared out. Also, for this, I'm going to need, um, yeah, let it all come through. All right, that's it. I believe that's the last thing. Okay, so I'm going to have to pull the switch, and this is going to be a mess, believe me. Or is it? Yeah, see what I mean? Okay, and close it. Yeah, really a mess. Okay, so what did it... It made a big emerald. All right, you know, there's actually a lot of sapphire in there. I might want to pull it again. Okay, and down. Okay, what did it do that time? Oh, it made it, made a bigger, I don't, I don't know why it chose to do that. All right, well, you know what? It's got a lot in there now. Can I just, um, I mean, I'm just going to take the opportunity to see if this actually will work for me. Uh, where is this? I mean, there's a lot of sapphires around here. See this? Oh, there's also, uh, oh, drop that, drop that, drop that. I just noticed that there was an onyx here. They are very precious. All right, we'll put them over there. 
Yeah, because we're probably going to have to restore some of our money. All right, give me this. Come here. Come here. Come here. And over here. Okay, everybody. Oh, oh, we got stuff over here. All right. Well, you know what? Can I get this up? Right this way over here. There we go. Uh, do I want to take? Yeah, you know what? Here, let me get this out of here. Let's take this out. We'll put it over here. If I have the opportunity to make a big one there, it'll be a lot less messy. You know what I mean? And then we'll take that. All right. So what I'm going to do with this is up in the air and put it there. There we go. All right. And now let's load all of this in here. All right. Okay, um, it's pushing me. All right, I'm looking for the dark dot. There's two dark, there's two dots. That one and that one, all right. There we go. And we'll put this out of the way over here. Okay, and... Right, so if there's one type, it's not a problem. So there, we got a really big sapphire right there. And unfortunately, there's another couple of pieces of sapphire just floating around. Uh, here, just put that over there. We'll worry about them later. Yeah, that's the reason it's just so messy. It just throws them up in the air, and they actually get stuck in there, which is annoying. This is the reason I want this to go away. Because this is not an automated system right now. All right, so now we can just shut this off. Hello, that one right there. Right, click on it. Okay, so let's start taking this thing apart because uh, uh, I need to rebuild and I need to put a splitter there. So let's see, where is me hammer? The hammer is what you need to lock something into place and in this case, unlock it. So there, now it's orange, which means you can remove it. And I mean this too. Oh, was I clicking on a gem? Is there a gem in there too that I don't see? Maybe I just locked it into place. Wait a second. There we go. Alright, so let's just put that down for a moment. Let's take that off. We'll put this over here with the other ones. And then we'll take that. Yeah, there was a gem stuck in there. Alright, so put this down here. All right, take that one. Give me that. And then we'll put it over here. Alright, now I need this out of the way. And I need this. We had to do that little bypass there. Can I get that? Oh, hold on a minute. Can you can you just go back there for a moment? Rotate. Right. I didn't hammer that into place. Here's the thing. I want to get the um the pipe out of there. Can we just No, I just move that doesn't make any sense. All right, let me get this. That's not what I wanted. Actually, this is what I wanted. Put that down. Can I get that? Right, so this is the uh, the center one. I want to get that. That's what I want. There we go. So we'll just take this and we'll put this over here. All right, because we're not turning anymore. We're going straight. So put this here. Bingo. And then we'll put this guy right back on. Hopefully it's facing in the right direction. Oh, no, it is not. Now it is. It had a little green arrow there to help me. All right. So once again, let's hammer this into place. Hammer that into place. This is good. Then we'll put the center back on. Right there. See, what this does is the raw gems come. And this one basically turns them into gems. This one centers it so it goes down the middle, which is... You know, so things don't get caught. And let me just lock that into place. Lock that into place. And we'll just do that pipe there too. All right, so that's good. That's what we're doing. Now what I need is I need to start putting the splitters down. But I also need to take into account the water that we're going to need for the uh, the gem smashers. All right, hold on. Yep, that's exactly what I want. And where did that hammer go? Where did I? Gotta keep my eye on my hammer. 
You never know when you're going to need your hammer. Seriously. Oh, there it is right there. All right. Hammer that into place. Okay. So let's get the first of the splitters. There we go. All right. So. Right. You can see the two directions. One of them is going to the left and one of them is coming to, pardon me, one of them is going to the right and the other one is coming towards me. So that's good. That's what we want. Hammer that into place. Actually, I think we should probably do them first. All right, I have more T's. Right there. Let's get another T. Oh, oh, that's not a T. Nope, nope, that's not a T. I forgot. I have to put the um, the the uh, the cent the uh, straight uh, conveyors in there. Yeah, I'm hoping I'm gonna have enough room for this uh, because it could be a problem if I don't. Where is, do I have any more straights? Oh, that could be a problem. I think I'm going to have to pop over and get another straight if I don't have one lying around here. Yeah, I don't have one lying around. How many do I need? I'm going to put um, a conveyor there, another splitter here. I think one more does the job. All right. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any money over there, so I'm going to have to grab the big wad that I have here. And put that in here. Don't uh, mind me. I'm just mooching about. All right. Yeah, just 22. But very important. All right. Fortunately, it is nearby. If I was at South Hope and I was doing this, I'd be going, eh. All right, so you there. Okay, you get out of the way. It is getting a little bit close because of the slope there. I'm hoping I'm not going to have a real problem with this because I have to do this. And then I'm going to attach something to the end. I might as well see if that's going to be a problem right now. Where is... Okay, it looks like it's going to work. But, of course, I have to rotate it. Wait a minute. That one, I believe. Right, that one is in. Okay, so that's good. That's where the onyx is going to go in the end. Right, so let's throw down the straight. That's going the right way. And I have another straight. And that's going the right way. All right, so let's throw down some more of these. And it's going to the right, and it's coming towards me. And then it's going to the right and coming towards me. All right. I do believe that that is exactly what I want. So, hammer, hammer, hammer. Can't reach the other one. Hammer, and then the pipe. Hammer, that one, that one. So I can't accidentally pick anything up. Okay, so let's throw these in here now. And you can see facing me is the water pipe. I think it did it by default. Nope, nope, wrong. Uh, let's see. Is that right? Yes, it is, because that is the, the logic where the switch goes. That's the reason that I need the extra ones, which is really annoying. Can you just rotate, rotate, rotate? Boom, oh, there we go. Right, because of the switch, that's the reason I have to put them there. Yeah, that's uh, a bit miffy. All right, let's see. Rotate. I think that's right. Yes, it is. And finally. Yep, that's right. All right, and let me throw the uh, switches on. Can you just rotate, rotate, rotate? There we go. And then this one finally in the row. Bingo. And this is actually the last one. All right, it's a good thing that I didn't have to go any further because I don't know if it was going to work at this point. Okay, so this is what we have here, assuming everything works properly. Now, what I need to do is I need to designate 
these guys for what they're going to sort by. So we're going to make this one Ruby. And then we're going to pick a little one here. And this one is going to be Emerald. And then I have a little Sapphire over here. And we're putting that there. And everything else is going to be Onyx, which is very rare. All right, let's start to uh, hammer that into place. That one, that one, that one. That way you have to unhammer in order to move it. Okay, so it looks like it's going to work. Uh, the one thing I would like to do is I'd like to take all the Onyx and put them in here. Because what I'd like to do is I want to make some money. And because I just, I want to get a whole bunch of money together. See, here's the thing. The iron, we probably have a lot of iron in there. And uh, actually, we're going to check that right now. But I'm going to need iron in order to construct drilling devices. Just like I'm going to need the cloudium. So I'm not going to sell any cloudium. Here's the thing. I have no problem selling gold. So how much iron do we have anyway? Let's just see here for a second. All right, let's see, what kind of weight do we have? That's worth 14,401. It's 1,200 weight. That's how long that's been going. All right, so what I'm going to throw that back in, though. So I can make some serious stuff with that. Here, down you go. Now, what about the gold? Wait a second. All right, and boom, there we go. Okay, that is 12,445. I'm probably going to be keeping that, though. Uh, that is 622. Thing is, I'm going to make something out of that, and I'm going to do it with the Onyx, too. I think... Wait a minute. Um, that one? Oh, they made this thing bigger. That's actually good. I'm glad they did that, because this thing, at times, it was very difficult to get something to sit on it. You know what I mean? All right, what do we have here? I'm just going to make the ring. So in other words, I need an ingot. I'll have to heat it up. And then I'll put it there, and I'm going to make probably the uh, the onyx over there. So I'm going to pull a switch on that. All right, the first thing we'll do is we'll start the water. And we'll see what everything looks like. I want to make sure everything's going in the right direction. I mean, it looks good. Okay, so that means I have to turn these guys on now. So we're going to turn you on. And we're going to turn you on. There we go. Alright, we do have to wait for a gem to show up though, right? Yeah, we're already getting the, uh, the gold refilling over there. Alright, so how long until we get a gem? I'm going to have to clean that mess up. But then you've already seen, I can just put that all into a bucket and bring it over to the hand sorter. So not really a problem. All right. I just, I really want to see a gem. Okay, that's a gem. That is a raw emerald, I believe. Okay, so what's going to happen here? No, no, it's a sapphire. That's good because it's going to go all the way down. Okay, not a ruby. Not an emerald. And it is a sapphire. Make a turn. Boom, there we go. And now we have an emerald. Okay, any rubies? I, I'm pretty sure the ruby thing is going to work out, though. All right, now we do... Oh, we made that big one now, don't we? Yeah, onyx is just worth a lot. Here, hold on a second. Put that down for a moment. All right, we're putting you in the fire. We need you red hot, because I want to sell that for a lot of money. All right, now we'll put this here. Look at that, the little one, 1,068 for this. Believe me, that one, they make a lot of money, but I really want a lot of money right now. All right, so can we just put that? Does it have to be in the little hole there? Maybe it does. Hold it a second. Right, 
Come on, come on, aim. There we go. Okay, where is the blacksmith hammer? There it is right there. All right, let's get that up here. Let's put that there. And let's make this. Boom, there we go. Okay, a ring. Oh, I guess I didn't hammer that in place, did I? All right, um, give me the ring. It is the one ring. Is it a ring worthy of Mordor? Let's find out. What do you think? Sure, I'm hungry. I feel very sad for you. So that's one of the individuals who will do the farming um, quest for you. I believe he wanted 11 tomatoes. Well, I don't have any tomatoes at the moment. Okay, so... The jeweler. All right, so what do you want? All right, 14864 for that. Hold on a minute. I'm just wondering if I take it over to the stock market, is it any better? I don't think so. I think it wants the ingots. Oh, you just don't want that. Yeah, it wants ingots right there. All right, so it wants ingots. Can I get that? All right. Um, what is this? The grocer. No, I don't think you'd buy it. All right. Yeah, I'll take that. Thank you. There we go. So I got a whole lot of money to fund my other endeavors. So for the moment, I'm just going to merge it all together. Merge it all. Actually, I, I have two stacks now. We'll put that there. Um, I'm going to need more of these. I'm going to need more of those. Because I have probably have repairs to do. So the idea is that I just let this thing go and it makes me money. So that I can go off someplace else and do stuff. Uh, the problem, of course, is that things will break. Uh, there's not much I can do about that. Unless I get the higher tier versions. Maybe. Maybe that's something we can do. All right, what do we got here? 17%. 2%. Okay, well, clearly we have an emergency here. All right, so those have been repaired. All right, so 100%, 100%, 53. You're one. You're not one anymore. Okay, you're 100 now. You're 43. And you're 43. Okay, everything is good for now. They're not very expensive, but, you know, you can just fix everything very quickly. Unfortunately, this will be the first um, fault down here. This one runs down the quickest. And as soon as it goes, everything stops. If I can get a higher quality situation with that, that would be great. Oh, I never opened that again. Hold on a second. Open. Yeah, but Onyx doesn't show up very often, so it's probably not a problem. Oh, I closed that one too? Wait a minute. Why are they all closed? I'm confused. Why, why are they closed? I mean, did they close automatically for some reason? I'm watching this. I mean, I don't know why it closed. But I mean, I don't see anything like deflected or anything like that. So I'm going to have to keep an eye on that. Anyway, I think that's going to do. Um, like I said, I do have to make occasional repairs. But as we've seen... I can make a lot of money here. And I do have a lot of iron, which I'm going to need to make more drilling equipment at the forge. Unfortunately, the last time I checked, I think I only had about 24 cloudium, which means the tier 2 equipment is going to elude me for a while. Yeah, it closed. Why did it close? Oh, that one, that one's pumping. So that, actually, I did that. Oh, I, we actually got another piece of uh, onyx there, didn't we? Yeah, that one closed now. What is going on here? Okay, that is... Is that a ruby? No, it isn't. That is a sapphire. I'm, I'm not sure why they're closing. The switch is off. 
like I said, I'm going to have to keep an eye on this. But I do believe that this is going to work fine. It'll be fine. It'll make me a lot of money, too. Anyway, I don't know if I'm going to do any more videos of this. It really depends on whether or not you guys want to see more. I would really like to go down to uh, the, uh, what's the name of it? The South Hope and start building a mining facility down there and then start working on farming and then find out what the uh, prospecting thing is about. But for now, you know what? I just wanted to make the video. If anybody watches it, I hope you enjoyed it. If not, you know, we'll do other things on the channel. It really depends. If you have suggestions of things to do on the channel, feel free to put them in the comments down below. But if you did like the video, please give it a like. Maybe say something in the comments for the Great God algorithm. And of course, subscribing is a great way to show your support. So thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games, because games are fun. See ya.